Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox Prehistoric video. This is Blocks and Builds and in today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you some of the few sneak peeks and leaks of the Iguanodon from the upcoming update as well as a few of the map leaks of the upcoming update. Now, for those of you that don't know what the next update for Prehistora is, it's the Iguanodon update where the Iguanodon, an uh, anticipated dinosaur, as well as some additional map changes will be added to the game. Now, besides going over these leaks and sneak peeks, I will also be talking about the next fossil coin mechanic that will be added to the game soon. So, if you wanna see more update coverage videos like this in the future, do go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so first up, we have the new foliage types and their leaked images of course. So first, on the first image, we see these two new plant types. The first one in the foreground, you see those two branches thing, I think all of you see it. As well as the one in the background, the bright green hand-drawn plant. Now this looks like a side cat, the thing that Styracosaurus eats in game. I'm gonna pull up an image of that too so that you can compare it. The branch structure as well as the leaves just coming out of the top of the plant, they resemble the side cat except without the fruit on top of course. Now besides these two plants, there's also a big rock in a lake behind. Now I suspect this lake behind the image is the great lake that we are all waiting for which will come in the update following the Iguanodon update. Now this update will have some map changes to facilitate the addition of the great lake in future and I believe that body of water you see behind there is the great lake itself. Now if you move on to the next picture, we actually see an expanded version of the previous picture. You see at the bottom right, we can see those two same plants as well as the same rock and the same great lake. But besides that, now in focus, we have the new second new foliage type. Now I really love how this foliage type looks. It's hand drawn as far as I can tell. It's a flat hand drawn texture. Now the current bushes we have in these games are also hand drawn but they're just these flat 2D textures arranged in an X shape which is kind of boring. Additionally, they don't provide very good cover because you know they're not covering you. But this one, it looks like number one, it's hollow, so you can probably go through it as you can see, you can see straight through the thing. Number two, it kind of forms an umbrella-like structure if you look closely enough. So it kind of seems like you can go under and you can actually hide. Now I also really love the hand-drawn aesthetic of this new foliage and the way it's kind of positioned like tiny little balls of leaves i really love it it's gonna be good for hiding it's gonna be good for camouflage and it's just a really welcome addition to the game for me now if you bring our attention back to the lake in the back you can see just how big the great lake truly is if those tiny plants at the front are cycad sized the cycads they can range in size from maybe Camptosaurus size to styracosaurus sized so if that is styracosaurus size the lake has to be absolutely huge of course, it is called Great Lake for a reason. I'm very excited for this Great Lake update. Of course, it will come in the update after the Iguanodon, which is probably going to be not by this year. Now, let's move on to the juicy stuff. Here, we have an unofficial sneak peek of the Iguanodon model. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick overview. It looks like a giant edited Tenontosaurus. It has three rows of spines on its back, one that runs all the way down the tail. The tail is very long and its colors, its base colors are actually very pretty. I love the earthy colors as well as the tiny green highlights going across the back. It looks like tiny sparks flying around. I really really like the aesthetic. Now, besides that, it seems that the Iguanodon's limbs are quite stocky. Those front limbs, they look very muscular and those back limbs look like they're built for running, kicking, all that stuff. Of course, I don't know what moves the Iguanodon will have as of yet, but I'll be excited to see that. Now, if I do have some gripes about this, it's how similar it looks to the Tenontosaurus. In my opinion, the tail is just way too long, and we all know Tenontosaurus has a very, very long tail. It also seems that the thumb spike that Iguanodon is known to have isn't very prominent here, which I don't really like. Which I don't really like, given that that thumb spike is one of Iguanodon's defining traits. 
Now, on, I do like the spikes, especially the one under its neck and above its head. It gives the head a lot more volume, a lot more size. It makes it a lot more busy. As well, the snout. The snout looks very pr pronounced. It's different from the Tenontosaurus, which is welcome. I don't want the Iguanodon to be just an upsized Tenontosaurus. Now, if we move on to the next image, we have an official, this one is an official sneak peek released by Soulslosion image of the Iguanodon. Here it's much clearer, it's much less grainy and we see it posed. I really love the way the model is and it rigged. It looks quite smooth and it looks like there isn't a lot of weird jankiness going on in the model. Now if you take a look at a closer look at the head there, if you look at the eye there's a reflection in it. it if that's a effect that Soul Explosion added later on I don't really have any way of knowing but if it's going to be in that game that shading the extra reflection it gives the eye so much more depth and character i love it overall i'm in love with the iguanodon model uh there's some things i don't like like the tail length the neck length uh the lack of a thumb spike or a very prominent thumb spike but overall i think source lotion did a very good job with this model and i am absolutely excited to play as this dinosaur in game Alright, so now let's move on to the fossil system. Now I'm looking at the Trello board right now and I'm going to give all of you a quick overview and read through of the fossil outcropping description. So fossil outcroppings will spawn in random places around the map and can be dug up for re rewards for specific species. When you dig up a fossil outcropping, you gain fossil progress towards a random species and finding more fossils for that species grants rewards. Species fossils can be found in the environments where the species naturally lives in. Let's say you find a fossil at a lake, Baryonyx lives at lakes, it's gonna be a Baryonyx fossil. So finding fossils for a certain species can grant rewards for that species such as a permanent EXP boost when playing, or a permanent growth boost when you're growing, growing is a mechanic that will be added in future, increased sacrifice value for when you sacrifice your dinosaur, for those of you who don't know what sacrificing is, it's basically this plan system where you can sacrifice your dinosaur for rewards. Uh, unlocking parts slots for customizing your character, that means unlocking extra parts like extra spikes or maybe scars or some aesthetic accessory. As well as faster research time for the species if you don't have it yet. This means that if you want to unlock let's say Iguanodon or Baryonyx, then you don't have it yet so you can go to the lake go find a bunch of baryonyx fossils and when you go and unlock the baryonyx it's gonna take a lot shorter time to unlock now this system turned out different from what i expected i was expecting a secondary way to earn fossils turns out it's a kind of way to get buffs to play the game easier so turns out the only way for you to be able to obtain fossils would be to play the game Anyways, what do you think of this mechanic? Do go ahead and let me know in the comments, but I believe that will be all we have time for today in this video. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more please update coverage videos like this in the future, do go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And uh, besides that, this is Blocks and Builds with another Roblox Prehistoric video, signing out.